Hello, and welcome once again to Nomad's World Minecraft. We are back. I apologize. I have been very busy with uh, Creative Verse uh, for for a couple of weeks, and uh, it was kind of enjoying it. But then um, some little bugs in, in the game were just really starting to irritate me. Uh, your inventory could just disappear. You'd have to completely close out of the game, uh, not just log out, but close the game uh, in order to, and then log back in, and then your inventory would be back. Uh, your hot bar, everything on it would disappear. You'd have to go in and to your crafting menu and back out in order for that to reappear. It, it just got real annoying. Um, I actually ended up losing some stuff because I thought uh, I, I wasn't paying attention to the hot bar. Uh, everything had disappeared and I went to put something on the hotbar and, and when I did that it, there w it had already been something in that location on the hotbar and uh, it just uh, you know deleted the item that had been there and uh, that got real annoying so I am done with that game um, at least until maybe the uh, do some more updates and progress that game along a little bit. Uh, it was a pretty good game. I, 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 the the ability to exploit in the game uh, kind of fascinated me simply because you know you could uh, create farms that would spawn certain mobs and uh, spawn chests, and you could team animals and uh, uh, the creatures and stuff like that so uh, lots you could do in the game uh, for gathering resources uh, I had gotten real heavy into the duping process if you bought if you watched any of that series that last video that I did was basically about the duping uh, um, duplication of, of, of certain items that you could you could uh, duplicate uh, so we're back in Minecraft, and uh, hopefully we'll get into some Seven Days to Die at some point. Um, I had to uh, show it to somebody, and I was having trouble with the keys because I, I hadn't played it for a while. So uh, might be a little bit shaky on that one. Um, but we are back at the excavation site to start with. Uh, as you can see, I've removed the um, uh, the little shack that I had uh, right here at level 45. Uh, oh, look at that. We got our first... Uh, uh, now that I've gotten some of this out, I'm going to start seeing some slimes, hopefully. And uh, obviously, there's one right there. So let's go grab that. Um, first, we're going to... steps so we can get on top of this. Alright. And then we will... Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. Alright. Let's kill some slimes. don't do any damage to us. They're just loud and noisy, so start with the bigger guys.
there is a space down underneath here um, that I haven't completely cleared out. I lit up some of it, so uh, it's probably down in there. And because, uh, oh, there's one. Um, because slimes will spawn regardless of light, I'm probably going to have a little issue. Yeah, we'll get rid of this guy here. Uh, as I try to continue to clear this out, uh, I'm going to end up with issues of slime spawning. Um, I've continued the process of every fifth block down, lighting it up, but I'm not putting any torches out there except, you know, like in little dark corners. Um, uh, so there's a f still a few torches down in there. Uh, the big hole is, of course, from the gravel and dirt that I've cleared out, and... Um, all the the uh, iron and coal that I've got gotten out of here um, and I hadn't gotten that because that's below uh, what was it uh, 35 um, so this is level 40 that's level 35 and I just start sectioning it off and start clearing it out uh, it takes a little bit of time uh, but now that I've got the mending uh, pickaxe I can do almost um, I can do about 75% of one section of this so like I basically I go two blocks path all the way around it to give my depth because I'm doing it in five block increments going down and then uh, once I've got that so that I don't uh, you know tunnel through all the the um, gravel and dirt going through the side. I think there's some more, yeah, there's some more uh, iron over here. I've gone ahead and continued to uh, gather any of the resources. Uh, it's kind of nice having the mending. I go down into a ca cavern system like what's down in here. Oh, I hear another one. Uh, and um, it's like just basically focusing on gathering resources and uh, you know I end up filling up my inventory I filled up I, I went just scavenging for coal and iron and redstone and all that and I came away with inventory being full twice and my pickaxe was still at full because every time I gathered some some resources I got some experience and it was just like I wasn't doing general mining like this so but basically I do this double path uh, double block path going all the way around five blocks deep and then I'll go and I'll about um, I'll count like six blocks one two three four five six and then I'll take these two blocks or this uh, this path here I'll just go straight across and I'll do that I'll leave six blocks in between each one I think the last one ends up being like five and then I'll go um, why do I got two torches right there must have been something there that I thought that was as a marker um, but then I'll do the same here and then when I got that going all the way through so I've got all these little sections then I go through and I I kind of go through like this just taking the bottom two and uh, that way as I'm uh, working on you know clearing out the rest of it I can actually look and I can see everything down on the level there will be there might be something that spawns up on top of the platforms but uh, up here but uh, generally it's like very little you know and then of course you know I come in here and sleep 
every time it gets nighttime. Um, not every time, but you know, if it starts getting dangerous, uh, like at one point I had like four skeletons that spawned in here, and yeah, I was getting chewed up because every time I started mining some more, I would have another skeleton shoot me in the back. So, so that's the progress report on the um, slime farm. Um, this excavation site is coming along. Uh, we're starting to get slimes, so that's a good good indication that we're heading in the right direction here. Um, I did take a lot of my uh, storage that I had. Um, wrong key. Uh, you know, I've got that one full already. Uh, that one's almost full. But uh, took a, a lot of stuff back to my um, main storage inside the, the base. So I filled up all the cobblestone or, or refilled it. Um, the dirt, I think I'm on the second chest now, maybe. Uh, gravel uh, is filling up. Uh, you know, the durite, the. Um, Granite and the uh, let's see the one um, egg of, I don't know, whatever the uh, whatever the third one is I forget what it is um, that those are you know working on just filling those chests and then they'll be uh, extra the the little house that's up on top of the excavation site is uh, basically only got um, cobblestone at this point. Uh, everything else has been moved. Uh, so I kind of did a little clean up there. I was looking for, I thought I had a diamond shovel. Uh, I was really tempted to go back to some of my other videos to see if I actually made one because I can't remember and uh, wasn't wasn't finding it. Because I had made a silk touch um, book, enchant book, that I was going to apply to my pickaxe. And so I was like, all right. And then I went and did some repairs. And I was like, I'm not finding my. Uh, there's a silk touch. I'm not finding my diamond shovel. And uh, I looked everywhere. And I'm like, I must not have made one or I burned it up. So I'm back to using regular shovels uh, for the granite and the dirt. And that's not so bad. It's 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 pretty fast regardless. So uh, and I got unlimited diamonds so or not diamond, uh, iron. And uh, so the next thing I don't know how where I left off with the armory. Uh, in the last video, but here we've got uh, progress up, uh, just an update, uh, refreshed what we, we've done here. We've got the uh, regular armors in order, leather, gold, chain, that'll be the turtle shells uh, when that, that uh, update hits. Uh, iron and then diamond, of course. This side is unenchanted, this side is enchanted. And then for weapon of choice, we've got the bow. Um, seems to be angled. It's the same one. Um, got a bow there. And then we've got wood. We've got each of the uh, tools and a sword. Uh, so we've got the shovel, axe. This will be the trident. This is a pickaxe and then the sword. And I've got wood, stone. This will, of course, be the trident again. Um, whatever material that's made out of. Um, maybe I can do it out of turtle shells or something. I don't know. Um, iron and then diamond. And, of course, still again unchanted and enchanted. So these the the first three are completed uh the iron 
looks like it's done. So I'm just on the diamond at this point. Uh, this one looks like I need boots. Uh, and then this guy will be done. And this one needs legs, boots, and a helm. And then he'll be done. So one, two, three, four, four more pieces of armor. Uh, and then we'll throw some enchants on those pieces. And uh, then the armory will be done until the uh, aquatic update comes in. And then we'll do that. And then, then that, that'll look kind of cool. I might redo the floor and the ceiling and, and the walls in here just for a better uh, look. But uh, that's that's an easy uh, easy fix. Cows are driving me nuts. Uh, let me turn down the volume. I don't know if that. I keep forgetting to check if that uh, is noisy on the video um, or not. Um, cows to make noise and we got some more we got uh, what 19 more leather nice um, what do we got going on here uh, lots uh, we did went down to the uh, skeleton farm and we were doing some repairs and and when I was doing it I throw it on the difficulty on the hard and that gives me some skeletons to have armor. And uh, now that my armory is all done with the iron and and uh, uh, enchants and everything that I can get off of the skeletons, uh, the rest are just going in here. Uh, I think it's working on yeah, it's working on the last of the, the iron um, blocks, and then it'll it'll quickly eat through all this and what we're getting is uh, some gold some iron from those uh, got some more charcoal going I really need to do some serious uh, tree farming um, got some regular stone so that I can make lots of repeaters um, anything else I need regular flat stone from uh, I really want to put silk touch on a pickaxe have a silk touch pickaxe with um, unbreaking and mending and uh, I think I can't do silk touch with fortune um, but that's fine I, I just uh, rather than burning through coal to make these the stone from the cobblestone uh, if I go you know do it using a, a pickaxe purely for you know, mining through the bulk of stuff, and then when I come to some resources, pull out the fortune uh, pickaxe. Um, then I can, you know, save the coal or the charcoal, and uh, have lots of regular stone that I can make use of for whatever. Uh, the main, the main thing right now is the repeaters, because uh, you know I want. I'd like to have a, a line of repeaters, but it, they take three, uh, what was it, uh, regular stone. So, um, I think I, I, I've made this into my tool chest here, so I got some various stuff. I've got shears with silk touch. I don't know if I showed those last time, but if you use them on cobwebs, you get the actual cobwebs. If you use anything else, you get string. Uh, if you use she regular shears on cobweb, you'll get string. Uh, if you just do, um, I think it's just any old anything else on it, it'll just it'll, it'll just destroy it. Uh, the bone, bone. You know, I take the bones, I convert them into bone meal, and then I take the bone meal and convert them into bone block. So this is going to be all bone block in here. 
so that if I need bone meal uh, for anything, I'll have tons of that. Uh, nothing in there. Uh, that's not changed. I haven't really gotten any potions going. Uh, these are, of course, uh, you know, I'm not really doing anything with these now. Um, I still don't have Infinity 1 on my uh, bow. Uh, that I will change in the near future. It's not a big priority because I'm not doing a lot of combat. Um, so, you know, some arrows is fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have an Infinity 1 in here somewhere. Um, yeah, right there. Um, actually, let's just go ahead and... Um, actually, I think I can't do... I think it's Mending I can't do on the bow with Infinity. So... We'll end up making a better bow at some point. Um, right now, it's power three, mending, and punch. It's it's not bad. The the power is the big thing. Of course, mending keep it, up, you know, fixed. Uh, of course, down there we've got our uh, our um, skeleton skeleton farm. Um, the only way to get armor and and bows and, uh, and enchanted bows uh, and all that is. I just up the difficulty to, to hard while I'm there, and then when I'm done, put it back to easy. I know that's a little exploit cheat, but uh, mainly it was to, you know, get that armory completed. Um, haven't really done anything else out here at the main, uh, you know, I think I've collected a couple more times, you know, to make some bread. Um, wheat for the cows, that kind of thing. Um, not doing a whole lot with the sheep at this time. It looks like a couple of them have disappeared. I think I've accidentally uh, crashed once or twice and um, or logged out wrong. You know, just click the X in the upper right hand corner and screwed up uh, some things, but uh, looks like my cow farm is still working properly. Uh, of course, I have this for uh, future projects uh, here in the base. Uh, nothing really new in the nether. Uh, um, haven't done anything in there. And um, let's see, back to the excavation site. Yeah, other than uh, moving down another... A little bit. Oh, I need to grab my minecart. The uh, villager system is uh, working quite nicely, except for uh, I needed to put an another floor on it, and I, you know, I or I need to. Um, we had a little lightning storm that came through, and uh, some of my villagers, not my librarians, thankfully, but some of my regular villagers uh, on the third, f uh, th one, two, three. yeah, on the third floor, ended up getting turned into witches. That was annoying. Um, let's see, up at the iron farm, I don't have my other guy logged in at the moment. Um, but uh, he's been collecting pretty good up there, and uh, we've actually got the start of a whole bunch of, I would say, about eight iron blocks. So instead of a stack of, uh, of iron ingots taking up a spot, we have converted a whole bunch of those into iron blocks. So that's converting them into better storage. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that... The iron is c still coming in, um, and uh, when I have him logged in, uh, and then of course, uh, you know, we've got this here. I, I've started clearing out a little area here. I'm gonna do the. Um, I'm gonna expand this. Uh, I'm gonna probably take this all out and um, make it like 
huge right here. Uh, and then I'll probably put a AFK station um, up here somewhere above them, kind of in the middle. And uh, that way I can put my second account over here to just go town on the uh, uh, sugarcane. Uh, once I, I was about ready to, uh, I started working on that yesterday, and um, I was thinking, you know what, screw the, uh, the slime blocks and making sticky pistons, I'll just do it with regular pistons. I'll lose some, uh, because when the, when the piston extra uh, extends and then retracts, sometimes it grabs one of those, uh, grabs some of the, uh, uh, sugar cane it pulls it and then it doesn't end up in the water and so it ends up sitting on the edge uh, that can still happen at times but with uh, the sticky pistons it tends to be it tends to work pretty good um, you know what I've got a torch here that is preventing that one from growing um, yeah I'm not gonna worry about that um, but, uh, you know, it, it was working fine. It just, uh, you know, it's getting annoying to you know, have to harvest it. I'd rather come down to the chest and, you know, auto harvesting process. And then we'll use some ice and whatnot to uh, fix up this uh, trough for the, uh, um, or, or maybe we'll make some uh, uh, iron hoppers and, uh, just you know I don't like it being so deep like that because um, if I fall in well if I fall in I'm just gonna you know hit the water and that's not gonna I'm not gonna take any damage but but it's just annoying um, so yeah I'm thinking it's gonna be like um, kinda like this but there'll be another one another section uh, and then once I've got those with the uh, pistons and everything so it's it's an automated farm then maybe do a second level above that and uh, I had like um, on another uh, another world I was working on I had um, three or four levels tall and uh, oh my gosh the the amount of uh, sugarcane I had coming in was just phenomenal um, and you know, I'm kind of curious about the lighting. How, how I did the lighting, I don't remember. And uh, I'm, you know, was the s sunlight getting to the sugar cane on the bottom ones? But regardless, I had like a lot of sugar cane coming in, and so I had lots of paper. Uh, in fact, it was just, it was to the point where it was like, okay, I don't need to expand it anymore because I'm getting more than I need. And uh, I had lots of paper going on. And, and uh, so that was nice, and I'd like to get that going. Uh, I'd like to move the um, the cow farm and the sheep farm away from the main base so that I don't have that noise going on. And I'm thinking about putting them over here, but not near the... Uh, uh, not near the villager breeder, and I want to put a, I want to clear this space right here out, and put a huge farm uh, for for wheat and uh, you know for making bread, uh, and uh, make sure I'm safe here. <laughs> I came back one time. I had jumped in my minecart and started to go just as a creeper had come up and. He didn't explode, but when I came back, he was still sitting here because he had been unloaded. And uh, so I man, but I managed to jump out of my cart and then shoot him before he could uh, destroy anything. Um, I still have um, the griefing turned uh, so that the yeah I still have it turned that way and the uh, oh, it's not griefing. Uh, so the uh, villagers will pick up food, but um, I haven't had any villa or any creepers blow anything up, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, 
Maybe it's a different setting for the creepers. Um, or maybe easy mode has a, a setting for... Uh, both those are on survival. Friendly fire, maybe? Uh, I don't think that... I don't think that affects it. Um... Keep inventory in, in... You know, this is the only one I can think of that would actually affect the creepers. But, oh uh, well. Uh, so first thing we gotta do, we gotta get rid of some, um... Witches, uh, like I said, on this level where my librarians are, we're fine because we've got an entire level here. But above these guys, I got nothing. So, yeah, lightning hit, converted these guys. Another lightning hit the other villager that is my, uh, the one for, you know, registering all those doors. But my villagers are still making babies when I feed them but they're really slow be and I think it's because my I'm reaching um, the population cap uh, so I need to do something about that but um, and what I'm thinking we're gonna do is move some of the librarians over to the uh, main base Let's see, I want to make sure I don't hit those guys. All right. That shouldn't upset the uh, golems. Um, go grab some of this loot over here. All right. Um, the farmers will probably leave over here, but uh, I'm I'm thinking of making a um, like an like another building. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, they're not they're not after me. Um, like um. See, I keep one of the other games I have the space bar and the control key are reverse for crouching or, or stealth or whatever. Um, uh, maybe it's seven days to die, I don't remember, but um, no, I'll get I'll get re familiar with this game again. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to play creative verse for so long, I meant to continue making some videos in Minecraft and then go back to playing creativeverse and doing videos in that one but uh, I just kind of got sucked into that game uh, man you know it's because it's new and whatnot but um, but yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna make a it would be a single floor um, not here because there's a hill there I, I don't want to have to tear that up uh, maybe like over there uh, I'll take a rail system and transport some of the villagers over over there to reduce what I have in here um, I'm thinking like um, you know like the the farmer um, or maybe I'll move them over here somewhere because I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to you know level this all out maybe I'll take out these trees right here and build a tower it doesn't really need to be a tower it just needs to be one level with enough of a roof system to prevent them from getting zapped by lightning um, yeah I don't know uh, but the librarians will probably get transported uh, mainly the the um, I might move them over to wherever here as a temporary measure but uh, the idea is to move them away from this village into a system that is far enough away that, they're, that this village goes, oh, we got lots of room for villagers, and then my villager breeder just starts pumping out little babies. Right now it's like I feed them any amount of bread, and they produce like 
two babies maybe three and that's really annoying because it's like okay you know that gotta sort through them figure out you know which ones to keep and you know every once in a while I get another librarian and I put him up in the librarian system and that's just you know expanding my uh, that they're you know taking up that village cap and I don't really want to do any more doors or you know expand the door system so it's kind of like hmm, I don't know uh, but yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna end up doing that I, I might make like the rail system come out of let's see I can get rid of that piece of fence because these guys come up um, I don't know if I showed you this this is uh, a water dispensing system so if I get you know I get um, a villager that comes along I can close you know these gates to progress him along and then when he gets over here and he goes right about there I just hit that, close that and pushes them down uh, I got some, you know, the zombies down there. I've uh, tried to make it so that they won't get stuck. They were getting stuck on this section of wall. They would, they would get over here and they would be up here and the zombies couldn't get to them. Uh, as you can see, I got a few zombies in here. Um, let's kill a few of them off. We don't need, we only need like one or two. Um, obviously, most of them or you know like all of them are villagers old villagers um, that's good. we don't want to kill all of them off we don't want to kill you know we don't want to only leave one in there because if something happens it might delete it and then I'd have to scrounge up another one um so uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, that what we're gonna work on is um, fixing this witch issue. And so we're gonna need some stone. Close that. Um, let's put this stuff in here for now. Um, I need some more fencing to get another villager up there. Um, as you can see, I've got I still got some emeralds going. Um, I'm out of paper up above. All right, let's get some stone and we got my torches. All right, we're going to go up and extend that uh, the uh, number of floors. We're going to add another floor. And then that should be our dead space floor. And um, Then we'll get another villager in there, and we'll keep him away from the doors. Um, as long as he's in here, it should be fine. Oh, great. He's in the way. No. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is like this. Oh, let's get rid of that witch first. That allows me to get rid of these. Um, oh, I need some doors now. Oh, I can come back to that. Um, ah, come on. All right. Put this there, that there, and let's 
so that'll keep the villager out of there and then once he gets over here we'll just let him you know like get stuck right there and we'll box him in um, there's a possibility that a, a lightning could hit maybe the side of the building I'm not sure if that actually happens um, and so maybe we'll make a ledge out there um, but first things first we need to go up here oh nope 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 guys oh no I don't want you guys up here You guys are not going to go up there. I'm sorry. Let's do it over here. All right. And we're going to start with... Yeah, go away. I want that block back. Um, oh, we need some slabs. And we'll grab some doors while we're at it. Since we're down there anyway. Um, got my coal and my iron in here for doing trades with these guys. Uh, once we get the farms going, we can get our, get our farmer. Uh, start looking for a good farmer um, or two. And then we can start really breaking in some emeralds. Um, slabs. I need to make some more slabs. Yeah, that's oh, that's plenty. Okay, doors. All right. Back up top. And we'll go over here and fix these doors. Grab my block back. There we go. Back to maximum doors again, I think. I haven't gone through and made absolutely certain that they're all there, but... But there, there's enough doors. Um, I think that one... Yeah. So, put our fence back. Start with the slabs. Make a little ledge. That way, when when we get another villager up in there, uh, might try and see if I can breed them without a villager up here now. Um, I miss root zombie. Uh, oh, there's a ledge right there. Um, those torches are going to be a problem. So let's do... This. We'll raise the wall up one. Some new slabs on the outside of that. Put 
probably if I put one more layer of cobblestone right over the top of this, I'd be fine. But we're going to go ahead and just add a whole new floor. a little nerve-wracking. I got good armor and everything. I probably wouldn't die from this fall, uh, especially since I've got feather falling. Um, if I didn't have the feather falling, I definitely, you know, that would be most likely a death. Um, Alright. Now, we don't want to make the same mistake we made last time. Apparently, crouching and going to the edge of slabs doesn't work. It, you know, because you're not really on the top of a block. You're in a, you're in a space. So, of course, I also don't like backing up. Always seemed to work better. Always seemed to work in the past, but then when I started doing messing with slabs and crouch placing, I had the, that issue of dropping off of this. So we'll just play it safe. Well, you can see the the house on top of the excavation site. All that glass. I'm pretty sure that's the glass that we're seeing right there. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get this video ripped out and then... And like I said, I want to get back into Seven Days to Die. Uh, the, the game's kind of, I don't know, I, it's just so different from anything I'm used to that when I'm playing it, I just feel like, I, well, I went in and I was showing somebody, so I made another world, uh, so I still have the one that, for, for my videos, and, um, you know, and I was showing him, you know, I went through the quest line and, and, uh, got to the trader and I was, you know, wasn't really finding a lot of stuff I um, in terms of sellable loot but uh, oh my gosh the number of jars that I found I must have had just I mean it was it was not even like maybe 4 p.m. in the afternoon of the the first day you know and I was doing the quests and I had gotten to the trader well, in the process of getting to the trader, tr the trader, which was a long ways off, um, you know, I looted a whole bunch of you know bags and and whatnot. And then and then there was a house that I found that I cleared uh, to show him, you know, the combat with some zombies and, and clearing buildings. And um, it, it was just a uh, a two story house, had a little kitchen, had a had a little. Uh, uh, a little bit of stuff, but uh, the number of jars that I got, I must have gotten like, you know, like 30 jars. 
and it was just like oh and I and in one of somewhere I had gotten some honey so that was good you know so I have you know, something that will cure me if from you know if I get um, dysentery uh, dysentria again um, but somewhere in there I I hurt myself and I've got a broken leg and I was just like well you know I'm not keeping this world but I am actually tempted to you know because of the purely because of the number of jars I've gotten but um, you know I I don't I don't I don't know um, I'm still gonna use the other world um, that we're, you know where we're still in the hole um, I'll, I'll continue using that one for my videos but I probably will you know save the other one for um, like experimenting um, off camera you know just for rehashing the uh, you know getting re-familiarizing myself with the controls and 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 everything um, still trying to remember the take all uh, key on that um, you know and, and getting familiar with you know quickly uh, searching something grabbing the loot and, and moving on before a zombie gets to me um, and I think I broke my leg from a um, the there was a crawler I was I was just basically trying to just not even worry about zombies and I was going for the trader and uh, I along you know there was this basically it was a big lake in between me where I spawned and where the trader was so I was just running along the shoreline well as I got closer I thought okay it's up there on you know on this little ridge and um, so I was like alright you know so I need to start going up a little bit you know and because uh, it was kinda steep well I think probably you know I was running along and I saw something I wanted to, I, it might have been a bird's nest or I didn't get too many feathers because uh, you know I'm not looking for the nests you know so I uh, uh, went ahead and you know I was just running along and I must have I, a, a crawler hit me and it was the second time I got hit I had gotten hit once inside the house that I gotten all the jars from uh, don't have much in the way of food but um, you know lots of jars and uh, it was just like I think that's high enough. I can just go right here like this. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, um, I kind of forgot what I was saying. Uh, I got hit by a crawler, and uh, I, I must have been, you know, the, the, the hillside was steep, so I probably ran... At one point, I went downhill too fast, and it registered as fall damage, and uh, you know, I kind of kind of panic when I, I get hit by zombies, you know, and uh, so yeah, I was uh, I I got to the trader and I was like, why am I moving so slow? And then I saw, oh, I got a broken leg, and then you know, so I'm like, okay, let's see, cloth, I managed to there's something that I had uh, scrapped for oh I had gathered a little bit of cotton the the biomes that I have in that area are pretty good there was some um, the, the yellow flowers I forget what they're called but that you can make the uh, uh, <clears throat> the the drink that cools you down and um, uh, you know, and then of course I've got all these jars. 
well, there's all these yellow flowers all over the place. And I'm like, so as I'm running along, I'm trying to grab, you know, what I can without stopping. And um, so, yeah, it was like doing, I was doing pretty good. And, um, you know, my inventory was getting kind of full. So uh, let's go back to the base and grab some more regular cobblestone. Um, don't need that. Put that in there. Put this back in there. Like that. All right. And um, <clears throat> so you know, I was cruising along, and somewhere in there. One way or another, I broke my leg, and uh, I had the cloth. I had some sticks, I think. I had some wood. Uh, I don't didn't have much, but uh, and then there was something else you need um, for the splint, and I didn't have. Uh, there was one thing I was short on, or didn't have any of, and uh, so that was. Like, oh, duct tape. That's what it was. The third item is duct tape. And I didn't have any. And, um, you know, and of course you can make glue and then use that with cloth or paper or something like that to make duct tape. But, you know, I, I wasn't quite to that point. And, um, so I was like, alright, well, you know, I, I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna really mess with this world too much. I'll find some duct tape. I'll, I'll put... I, I might play around on that one a little bit. Uh, and, and the only reason I would would, because, would be because of the number of jars that I got. And the biome that I'm in is very conducive for uh, liquids not being a problem. You know? I, I mean, there, there's a lake right there. You know? All I need now is um, like a a pan or whatever to put in a you know, fire and then um, and then you know and then I'm good you know uh, I'll be able to I'll go to the excavation site to get the cobblestone um, you know, we'll be able to, and we'll have plenty of water so I've got a good location for my base well not not specific spot around the lake but you know, I've got a lake there. I've got a biome where those those uh, yellow flowers are growing, and um, I don't know if I can plant those, you know, and grow those. I think I can. I, I think I can process flowers into seeds and make more. So that's good. Uh, then, um, hope and the and the weather there is is like sixty. I, I, once I hit the, I, I think it was without my clothes, it was 66 or feel, felt like 66. So uh, maybe, you know, it's a little bit of a warm zone. Um, I wasn't running into any cactus uh, when I was running through those areas. So, yeah, it's, it, it's not a lot of trees. I mean, I mean, there is, there's plenty of trees for, for what I'm going to need, you know. Uh, but it's it's like I didn't see like an actual forest. Um, I didn't see a desert type area with the aloe vera. You know that would be nice. Um, being able to gather some of that and uh, let's see cobblestone, cobblestone. Grab a bunch of it just so we don't have to worry about it later. Because we will be building another building. Cobblestone, cobblestone. I wish they would. Uh, uh, Mumbo Jumbo made a comment that he'd like to see in the uh, when you're in like a chest uh, or you're like in here, you could uh, somehow do a search and you can do cobblestone. It'll highlight cobblestone you know, or whatever you're looking for. Because when you've got cobblestone, uh, gravel, um, what was the other one? And Andesite. Andesite, cobblestone, and gravel, whatever that is. Um, I'm sure there's some in here somewhere. And then 
maybe not. But there should be some in here. Yeah, gravel. See, you put the gravel, the cobblestone, and the andesite together, and they they blend in too well to to each other. So they need to do something about that. Now that may be either you know changing the textures of these or putting a search thing so that like if I want to pull all the gravel out of here, you know, that I type in gravel and all the gravel spots like highlight and the other ones dim out. Uh, and that would be my inventory and whatever container I'm in. That would be nice. He, he suggested something like that. I kind of expanded on it a little slightly, uh, I think. But, um, yeah, you know, it would be really nice to have uh, a, a search feature. Um, for me, mostly for those you know those three blocks you know keep you know and then if I have some regular stone you know with the silk touch you know yeah that stuff's gonna blend in so much together I'm I'm gonna have trouble um, I'm probably at, at as soon as I have enough gold I'm probably gonna make another rail going from the villager tower that you know my villager breeder tower across over here to the excavation site and then over to the base so um, haven't really, you know, I, I really need to kind of figure out uh, my rail system a little bit. Um, you know, I've got that one little hub, but you know, one one way goes towards a village that I'm not even really using. Uh, another way goes t down to a village that's basically dead. Um, and then one comes over to the base, and I'm thinking, you know, I need to like, um, right here, I need to make a new hub, and maybe make it like three by three by three by three, so I have nine rails coming out of it, and one of the rails could go up to the iron farm, just bypass this completely, and then another one could go over you know, connect up to that rail system that goes over to that village. And then another one goes over here to the hub or, you know, connects up to that one that goes down to there. And I could just delete that hub there completely. Um, and then that would wipe this out. You know, or I mean, you know, I don't know, I'd connect this one up to the one going down to the, to the village maybe. Um, but, you know, like I got one, two, three that could go off one direction, and then I could have three, one going over to the excavation site, one going over to, oh, I think my witch farm's up that way. But, you know, I could, you know, expand and have a single hub. So I come up here, and instead of having this rail system and this rail system as being different, let's get rid of him, uh, you know, I can come out and I could remove all this and just come out to the hub and then make a decision of which direction I you know where I want to go um, so yeah that's gonna be a future project I need some more gold um, which is another project uh, need to make a pigment farm in the nether so that I can really start bringing in the gold. Um, if I was playing on hard mode, I could have um, that skeleton farm going full full time and uh, play around with that. Maybe you know to uh, try and get gold that way. That's it's kind of a slow way, you know, because the, the the zombies or the, the skeletons, you know, you get a, quite a bit of gear when you're on hard mode out of that farm but um, you know you smelt that stuff down and you kind of go well you know okay I got you know, 20 little uh, uh, what are they uh, they're not uh, are they ingots um, the, the little pieces of gold that you then have to combine to make one bar you know and it's like okay I need there's a pigment right there um, so yeah, it, it's you know, gold is my next uh, main goal. 
Uh, once I have lots of gold, then I can make rail systems everywhere, you know, wherever I want to go. Um, but uh, for now, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to fix this up, and then i got to get my slime farm completed. Um, and I might slow down on the excavation uh, now that, that I know that it is working. What I might do is uh, go ahead and set it up. At the, you know, I'll, I'll finish the five block levels that I've got right now. I'll finish clearing that out. And then I'll kind of make a floor, you know, flat floor. And then uh, set up some iron golems and, you know, kill spots and all that for the, sp for the slimes. And because really, I mean, I need a lot of slime balls to make sticky pistons. But... Then again, I don't really need like a whole ton of them, you know. I mean, um, uh, what did I do with those slimes that I had? What did I do with them? Did I put them in a chest somewhere? don't remember taking them out at the base. I, mu I must have. I must have uh, put them in some at the main base. Or maybe... Maybe I didn't get any? No, I got some slimes out of that. Oh, I know what I did. It's at the chest. It's in the chest in the excavation site. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I don't, I didn't really pay attention. I know it was like, like one stack, you know, or pretty close to it, because that was a lot of slimes. And I'll get some more, you know, next time I'm over there digging, I'll, I'll run into some more slimes there. So, um, oh, this way. So, uh, yeah, that's, you know, I need to get some of these guys working, doing some work over there, and, um, you know, make that automated, and then, yeah, it, I probably won't need to go all the way down to bedrock. I'll do that eventually. I'll, I'll take it down to bedrock simply to make the efficiency, just maximize the efficiency because nothing else will be spawning in there other than the slimes. Uh, there might be some inner men, but, you know, they won't, they won't be adding to the cap because, you know, they teleport in and out. Um, okay, let's finish this roof up and then we need to light it up okay I'm gonna break away here real quick um, my stomach's starting to growl and I'll bust this out get it all lit up and then we'll get a new villager up here into the door system and we'll te we'll test out the breeding see if it still works without a villager up here but uh, I'll still end up putting a villager up here um, just because you know for there might be an efficiency thing so I'll be right back all right, we are back. Uh, I've got the roof on. I've got um, it lit up, and we're gonna organize this slightly. Lots of cobblestone for later. And I had to come down and get up some glass because I forgot that you know you gotta have light getting to the. Uh, you know, for the doors to register as valid doors. Um, let's see, I need some more. I need some more fencing. Let's take that and that. There's some fence. Take all 
that stuff back to the main base. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Let's put that there. Put that there. Put that in there for now. All right. So go up here. Now they should be protected. What? Oh, okay, that's the uh, that's the glass. It looked weird from over there. All right, these guys are gonna be a nuisance, aren't they? So first thing we're gonna do is make a channel for our villager. Those guys are out of the way, and we've got our spot all picked out for our villager. Actually, let's uh, do that. We won't have him right in the corner. Not that it really matters. As long as he's in here, it doesn't matter if he's going back and forth. I just... I'm hoping he's not going to be able to reach the door and you know be opening and closing the door because that gets annoying when he's when they're when they're doing that. All right, and so we don't need anything up there. We'll take this out to keep the villager from ending up up there. And this is a problem because he'll just jump up on this and go right in there. All right, so it should come up, go upstairs. Oh wait, we're gonna use one of these guys. Now let's um, first let's see if the breeder actually works regardless of not having a guy up there right now. So we go over here. guys gonna breed for me they are moving bread back and forth amongst themselves so that's a good sign that's that part's working and then while we're waiting they probably won't breed because there's nobody up above but uh, but while we're waiting, let's uh, get this librarian upstairs. Thorns one, right? Yeah. All right. Um, But upstairs, and block that off because we want him to go over here. Gotta make sure we're all all good. Let's see if we can get him in number one. that and the only other one I've got in here that I haven't done that I need the paper for is number three 
He's got Bane of Spiders, 5. That's 63. But if I need, if I need that, you know, that's the max. So that's cool. Um, probably keep him for purely for that. Um, but we gotta find out what else he's got. All right. All right, little dude. No, well, you're a big dude. Little dudes are what I'm waiting for. Come on. Come on out of there. Go on upstairs and join the rest of your your kind. There we go. Keep him from coming back this way. You only got one way to go, buddy. Just waiting on you. Backtracking. Oh, I close that door again. Or that gate. In you go, buddy. Come on. Cooperate. I know you will eventually. The question is, how long is it going to take? There we go. All right. And then we need to write down on our handy dandy tracking. Oh, I need to knock my desk over. Thorns 3 for 45, so that's not better at all. Uh, let's see, the other Bane for th number 3, Bane of Spiders. I don't seem to have that one. Yeah. So, and we will fill in our other page. Um, level 5, 63, and Traitor 3, and the Thorns 1 is worthless. That's the max. 45 on number 18. Yeah, so unless I find a Thorns 3 for less than 45, that's our guy for Thorns. Uh, although he has Unbreaking 1 but for 10, but that's only breaking Unbreaking 1. I want Unbreaking 3. And I need some efficiency. I don't have any yet. So do need to get this thing going some more and uh, that's gonna do it for this video um, we accomplished a little bit did a little show and tell we're back to playing Minecraft and uh, uh, oh yeah I need to uh, I forgot need, need to get one of 
Oh yeah, we were looking to see if those guys would breathe, weren't we? Uh, they're not breathing. So we definitely need a guy up there. Let's do that. Um, I think we're all set here. Not gonna go down. Oh, might might go off of this. Let's go like. Should prevent them from going down that way, and they shouldn't be able to go anything but down into here. All right, so let's pick a guy. Um, let's pick a farmer. I think I've got two of them. No, I can't remember what all these guys have. I know I had one that was really good, but I think he's turned into a. Uh, let's let's look at this guy. Concerned about that. Even one, no big deal. Oh, there, yeah, that was the good guy for the axe. Alright. Um, what about this guy? I mean, there was, it was chest plate. Fire protection, yeah, that's that's nothing. All right, we can get rid of you. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oop. That was almost bad. All right. Not messing with the doors. That's a good sign. We'll give you a little wiggle room there. Alright, we'll leave these fences here. Keep these guys corralled. Um, if I need to, I can always move this back further and corral them more. Um, Actually, that would be nice, because if these guys turn hostile to me at some point, um, simply because I am accidentally hit somebody again, let's do that. we need the trough again. I don't think having two villagers up here at the door level will make any difference. It's purely a matter of uh, just registering the doors as a village. Hopefully, uh, let's go down and take a look. he have to open and close one of the doors. Nope, we got villagers. Alright, we got babies. Alright, it's working. And you are a nobody. I'm not interested in clerics right now. Alright, so we got this working again, fixed our little issue with the witches, and uh, got everything going again. So, 
that's going to do it for this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share, please. Uh, leave me any comments. Uh, what would you like to see me do next? Um, I've already sh explained what I'm intending, but if there's something you want to see uh, in the game, let me know. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you.